I'm just recording a video now just to show you like this video is gonna be used for before and after so I'm gonna start with the first video I have this I'm gonna just add one more node here and in this node I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna click on magic mask after that I'm gonna just take this picker I'm gonna draw a rough mask around me a very rough mask as you can see very fast and then I'm just gonna go to effects and in, in effects I'm gonna search for background defocus okay background defocus I'm gonna drag and drop on on the same node and now as you can see when I did that it made a similar like a subtle blur because uh, the amount of blur is 0.5 now but if I increase it you can really see that so see yeah so I'm just gonna keep it till somewhere here for now and then I'm gonna, gonna uh, come here and start tracking the mask be sure when you're gonna start masking that your playhead is on the first frame of the video that's a very important thing I mean because sometimes we are in the middle of the video and we start masking so I'll just go to the first uh, frame and I'm just gonna start my uh, tracking so as you can see DaVinci is very fast and very accurate in masking uh, in tracking the masks so it have tracked all as you can see a blue line here this means it's uh, fully tracked now I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna colorize it a bit so you can see the background is uh, the, the background's color is changing and uh, I am same as I was and then I'm gonna go to advanced options and I'm gonna increase in morphism a bit and highlights you can keep as you like but for me as it is good global band I never uh, play with this I keep it as it is okay now I'm done with uh, defocusing my background now if I really want myself to pop out there are two more steps which I'm gonna do and you can follow those as well first one is I'm gonna make my face look a bit uh, popped out so to do that I'm gonna uh, add one more uh, node and in this node what I'll do is I'll add a mask around my face um there you go and then i'm gonna make it smaller and make it smoother I'll, I'll keep it around my face only so there you go i'm gonna make it a bit more small and this is how it is and now look i am at the last frame of the view as you can see so I'll track it backwards. I'll go to tracker and I'll just track it backwards. And Da Vinci. One second thing and it tracked the whole video. And then I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna uh, start lifting my gamma. So as you can see, my face is popping out a bit if you wanna see really. So this is before and after, before, after, before, after. So it looks very good now. Now I just want to add a vignette on the sides to make me look very popped out. So I'm going to come on here and then I'm going to add a node after this. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come here to the uh, mask. I'll ask a uh, select a circular mask. And then I'll just make it a bit bigger around my body. And then I'm going to go to the tracker and I'm going to, as my playhead is on the first frame, I'm just going to track it forward. So there you go it's done now I'll come here and on the offset I'm just gonna make it fully down uh, okay I forgot one thing so I forgot one thing and this is what you will forget as well so what I did is when I'm as you can see when I'm increasing or decreasing it's it's affecting inside of the video of the uh, mask but I want it to uh, affect the outer side of the mask so for that I'll have to go to mask and I'll have to press on here and it will invert the mask now you can see it's affecting the outer side and I'm gonna smoothen it a bit more and you can see now if I decrease you see but now it's affecting me as well a bit so to avoid that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on this I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say add node and then add outside so when I have outside I have another one which is just me masked and on this one I'm gonna increase it so now you can see I am brighter the other stuff is darker and this way I'm very popped out so if you want to really see the comparison from where we started and where we went I'm just gonna turn off all the nodes okay to show you so this is where we started guys and we are here just look at this it's just super awesome right so you can take videos with your phone 
and you can make them pop out really well like you have a professional camera if you really know the tricks and now i'm gonna jump to the second video which is a bit different than this this was a wider shot but this is kind of a medium shot you know and it have a lot of things at the background you know we're gonna see like how it affects on this when we add the background defocus so what i'm i'm gonna do is same thing i'm gonna add a node and on this node what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the magic mask and i'm gonna create a mask around me a rough one and then there you go the mask is done i'm gonna drag and drop the background defocus okay and then i'm on the first frame of the video so i'm gonna track it forward so it's gonna track it there you go in two or three seconds it's tracked and the video is done now i'm gonna see how it affects oh my god it's very good you see so i can for uh blur the background till somewhere here where the things are like you know uh, blurred and then i'm gonna colorize it a bit so there you go you can uh, have any color you want but i'm gonna have this color okay and now anamorphism surely is gonna be increased a bit highlights you can play with them and uh, you can keep them as you like global band i will never change as you know that now i'm gonna create one more layer uh, so now i'm gonna create one more node uh, and in which um, my face is gonna be targeted so i'll do the same thing i'll uh, go for a round mask around my face i'm gonna make it a bit softer there you go and there you go okay and then i'm gonna go to the tracker and as you can see um, my play playhead is in on the last frame so i'll track it backwards so done and then I come here, same thing, I increase my gamma, okay? And just to show you before and after, what I'm gonna do is look, this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. So I'm gonna select this node, I'm gonna add one more node on the, on front of this, so, and on this node, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a vignette on the sides, so I look very, very popped out in this video. So for that, what I'll do is I'll do the same thing, go to mask, circular mask, select the mask make it softer make it bigger so i fit in and if you don't want to really track it you don't need to track but i do track uh, this one as well around my uh, body just to you know keep it uh, around me properly and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to tracker i'm on the first uh, frame of the playhead so i'll track it forward that you go this is done and then wh what i do is i just come here uh i'm not gonna do the same mistake again i'll come here invert the mask okay and then come here and then i'm gonna there you go you have a very beautiful vignette so this is what it's doing guys see beautiful okay then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna right click on this add node and i'm gonna add outside so on this outside what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna increase it a bit so my body is properly lit as it was because when i made the mask of vignette softer it was affecting my body a bit as well so just to avoid that i added one more node outside so it can uh, it can cover my body properly so now you can see this video was we started from here guys okay we started from here and we went here super awesome right so these this feature is super strong to be honest to make videos and make your videos look so professional and i hope this was helpful for you if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos guys thank you so much